This video is sponsored by AppMaker. Hey everyone, welcome back to Educate WordPress, where we talk everything about WordPress. And today, we're going to see how we can add a search bar in WordPress website. Let's get started. We're going to add Ajax search bar. Ajax refers to live search functionality, where the website starts to display results as you type in the input box. It allows you to see search results without having to load a display page. Ajax search makes it easier and faster for users to find what they're looking for. So let's add our plugin. We're going to add Fibu search. The link to this website will be in the description. You can check that out from there. After heading over to website, click on download. Now go to your admin panel, plugins, add new, click on upload plugin, choose your file and choose the downloaded file. Click on install now. Now let's talk a bit about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. And click on activate plugin. Click on skip and as you can see Fibo search has been installed and activated. Now the good thing about this plugin is that it is compatible with Astra theme. Now if you want to know more about Astra theme, we have already created a video on Astra theme which will be linked in the description. You can check that video from there. Now let's go. And we're going to replace all Astra search bars with Fibo search. Now it has also given a tutorial on how to add these. You can refer them. Now let's go to search bar option and edit this. Now, as you can see, this is minimum characters to show autocomplete. That means the user will have to type at least three characters to activate Ajax search. Now, if you want to show the submit button, you can do that. But I think my website looks pretty good without the search button. Now you can change the placeholder as well. And in the layout section, you can use search bar only, which is this search icon, which, which means only search icon will appear on our website or this icon on mobile and search bar on desktop, which means when we are in mobile, only icon will appear. And when we are on desktop, the entire search bar, which is shown in the preview will be on the website. Now you can change search icon color as well. We're going to input background. This looks good. Click on select color. Now let's save these changes. Let's go to autocomplete. And this is our limit, which is, which means there will be only seven suggestions in here, seven matching suggestions. 
Now the good thing about this is that it also searches in the category. For example, if I want to search lotion, the category lotion will appear here. And when we hover over the product, it will show the product image. Let's show the price as well. And that's it all you can do. You can select the suggestion colors as well. For now, we'll keep on default and click on save changes. Let's go to search config. And here we can see the search scope. Now, if you want the website to search whatever the user has put input in the box to search in the description, we will check mark this box. Or if you want to in short description, if that is added into your product, you can check mark this box as well. And we're going to exclude out of stock products. That means in the search, it will not show the products that are not in the stock. Now, if you have the pro version, you can enable fuzzy matching, which means if the user has input the wrong spelling, it will try to match to the correct spelling. Now let's click on save changes. We won't see our Ajax search method right here. So we will create a menu. Let's go to appearances menus. Now, as you can see, a FIBO search bar menu has appeared. We won't add it to our primary menu. I want to add it separately. So let's create a new menu. We're going to name this search bar and save it as secondary menu. Click on create menu. Let's add FIBO search bar. Click on save menu. Now let's add it to our header. Let's go to website and click on customize. Go to header builder. Now this is our header builder. We will click on this plus sign to add a new menu and click on secondary menu that we had created. Now let's click on publish. Open this website again. Now, as you can see, our search bar has appeared. If we try to search on it, as you can see, product and the price has appeared. And even the category has appeared. As you can see, we have redirected. Now that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like if you find this video useful and subscribe. Thank you.